All right, uh, Roger here. We've got about the 19th of December, and uh, I kind of started on this this morning. It's Sunday morning. Uh, this is 2021, and I want to show you the conversion of one of these old radios here to modern technology. And when I say modern technology, I mean uh, uh, digital radio plus Wi-Fi capable, Bluetooth capable, so you can take your... Uh, your cell phone and connect into it like I've done right here for example so you can this is kinda of like one of my first versions right here and I've got surround sound I've got a amplifier behind here a regular car amplifier and then a regular old power supply then I've got a satellite speaker here one way over there in the corner and then all the speakers in here are working and then I've got a subwoofer way back down there you can see the little light down there there it is it's an old yamaha subwoofer that i just drilled a whole bunch of holes in here it was upstairs but uh really didn't use it so let me cut this down just a little bit and here what i mean by this you can you can go in here and play your next songs whatever songs you want and it plays it pretty crystal clear here All right, so anyway, the sound is pretty good. Well, actually, it's real good to be quite honest with you. So uh, I just grabbed an old radio here. This is an old Grundig out of the 1950s. Now people go like, oh man, you're tearing up an old radio. Man, but to get the, the tubes are not available anymore. And if they are available, you're gonna pay like 40 or $50 or euros per piece. So what I do is I basically go in here and I gut the radio take all the crap out of it. I like stuff like this. You can you can find this old uh, receipt right down here on where it was built, what year it was built. And like I said, this is an old Grundig. And then the pieces that I retain are right in here, like this little brass fitting that says stereo on it. And this is model 40, 4079. Anyway, a little small stuff. I'll put all that back together. Now here's where the old speaker used to sit, and you have to soak all the stuff because the idea here is to try to retain this old stuff right here, so I have to soak it. I just use a regular old uh, Windex, soak it, and then take a, a putty pad and then rub the stuff off of here. Now what I've done right here is I've marked where the new module is going to go. Again, this is, a, I guess, a taste thing. But this one here has DAB. These are little things out of China. They're literally, you know, 80 to $100 on, on Amazon or eBay. And, but they got really nice output. And this one right here has a digital uh, radio input, which Germany's converting to. So this is what it is, and I'll show it to you when it gets finished. I also have the option to put a little small amplifier on this one, although you really don't need it. And then here's the pack of LED lights that I usually use. I only use one strip of this, so I've got three meters. I use less than a half a meter. And the nice thing about it, they're modular, so you can actually control them. And then the old power supply is just a regular eBay. These are like $15. And uh, they're, of course, made in China again. And your output is, uh, uh, input is 100, and, 100 to 240 volts AC and the output is 12 volts. So this right here is gonna run everything and it's, it's strong enough to run this little amplifier. Uh, here's what the old radio looks like. And what I do here is this has just got like 50 years of crud on it. So I just spray this thing completely down. There's no electrical left in it. And I'll hit a little toothbrush. See how, how all this crap comes out of here? It'll turn nice and clean. And this right here is where I gutted everything off of the back. And I'll mount my power supply here and the radio uh, which you're seeing right now, I'm actually cutting into it with the cutoff saw here. And let me show you how I do this. It's kind of stinky, but the nice thing about this is when you do this, you can actually. Hold on. What that does for you, except create a whole bunch of damn smoke, 
because you've got a nice clean line here now where you can go to this end with a, a scroll saw or jigsaw and then I'll put this back over it, glue it back down and then I've got my nice little edge around here. Should look okay, that's the plan anyway. And then I'll slide this in from the back and I'll put a little wooden holder on the bottom of it. I've got this process down pretty good right now. Again, uh, I don't sacrifice these radios, but only if they're not working. All those are from German eBay for like 20 bucks a piece in the local, so you can just type in there where you want to go look from them. All right, that's it for now. I'll get back with you in a couple seconds. All right, so I've got it cut out. Use my little file here to round the edges a little bit. And what's important, I found this out from trial and error from my last couple of ones, is I just take a piece of cloth here or naugahyde, if you will, and just test fit it with this in here to make sure that it actually fits both ways because once you lay this back over and tuck it around this corner, it's gonna get really, really tight. I found it and I almost didn't get the last one in, but I actually kind of had to force it in there. But anyway, so now this will go in here. Yep, it looks like it fits nice and smooth. So now this is still kind of wet. And it shrunk a little bit, not a big deal. I can pull it a little bit, but first thing is, gotta use my garage hair dryer here. I don't need one, of course. But dry this up, and then I'm gonna re glue this back down here and then cut out this edge right in here. Gonna come in here and uh, make yourself a little mark. And what I'm doing here is I'm drilling a little bitty shelf, probably about out to right here, however deep that thing is, about right there, that's fine. I'll build a little shelf right here. And that's about good. It's run a little strip down here and that'll be it mount back here just three little self-tapping screws and make sure the side right here your counter sink it just a little bit that's yeah look at that so just so you don't see it and last one you won't see this because that right there will come over top of it this will be flapped over right here anyway And like I said, if I grab this right over here, that's the intent of it. Now, hopefully you can get the better idea how this thing actually works, so. And that little bitty space I got in here, see that little eighth of an inch? That's times this times two. And uh, that should be okay now. Cool, that looks gonna look badass. Uh, so I've got this thing cleaned up right now, but this is what's pretty cool about this thing. Back in the day, they didn't actually have frequencies like 98.7, of course they had the frequencies, but what you would do is you would actually tune to a city. If you can see the cities on there like Saarbrücken, Munich, British Forces Network, BFN, that was right after the war. So that's kind of cool. And let me show you something I found underneath this thing. There's the actual QC code. And look at the date on there, 14 December, D-E-Z is how the Germans spell it. 1959 so this was actually on the bottom so what I did is I just taped it right there again I stripped all the tubes off of this thing there's all the stuff right here and I'm just gonna lay the power supply right here band it in here and then go but look what I do right here is I take these two light bulbs out that of course run with 220 and what I do is I just put an LED strip in here and voila just a second so now you can see the lights, how it lights up in the background. It's pretty cool. Munich, what else we got here? Schotten, Brussels, Frankfurt, and then you got Air Armed Forces Network, Paris is on there. And this is a long wave. TA is like auxiliary in, aus is out. And what else got? Mittelwelle is AM. KW is Kurzwelle, short wave, so you can pick up short wave on this thing too. And UKW, now of course, all that's out the door right now because I converted over. But the LED strip, you can see I just dropped it right up in here. And then I'll wire. Then now what I'm gonna do is these things had tuning tubes on them. 
which was the green one. Of course, I'm going to simulate that with these little green LEDs. It just takes one to be put right behind here. That was a tuning one uh, and go from there. So I've got this thing cleaned up over here now. The key thing is when you get these things is they shouldn't be all banged up. I got one little ding right here. I might touch it up just a little bit, but this is clean, ready to go. I'm at about 75%. I started at 10.30 this morning, so about three hours, maybe four hours to put one of these things together. And probably the most critical aspect of this whole thing is I got this thing straight. So, you know, this is literally over 50 years old. It's 70 years old. And I got all this tack glued up in here, and that extra little centimeter, uh, eighth inch I put in here, it's exactly what it is. So it's a nice snug fit. All these little ropes in here are individual pieces, so I've got them all glued and applied back. And now that face will sit right in here. Again, it's a, uh, it's a Geschmackssache is what the Germans say. It's just what you want to do and whether you think it's good taste or not. But I like pimping out these old radios so you got modern technology. So just tapped into the, the 12 volts and I've got it right up in here and what I'll do is I'm just going to push this down. Hot glue gun did that for me and push this right up in here like that and that's about right. So now when you come to the front of it, you see a little tuning bulb up in there. That's what that's supposed to be. Alright. We're at the part right now where everything's assembled. And it's got to do a whole lot of soldering. If you ever wired a car stereo, then this is all this is. Uh, and I'm pretty well, I've got the color code down, but I'm going to refer to my little Chinese book right here, convert it over to English. And like the yellow is the memory, uh, red is ignition. So since I don't have an ignition switch in this radio in my house, I'm going to tie this to the red coming out of the power supply which I just converted and got sitting in here now and then blue for example right here the blue is gonna go to this line right here that runs my LED lights because remember the blue gets 12 volts when you cut the stereo on and that'll run my LED so just a second here I'll put this together Just rinse these or just wrap these counterclockwise, clockwise, however you want to do it. And then I'll grab my handy dandy solder and then just touch a little solder on there. And then I'll just put electrical tape on it. The good 3M stuff, don't get the cheap stuff. That's out there. And now the blue. And in theory, I should be able to now plug this thing up and there should be no smoke. All right, take care, bye-bye. Uh, just took power up and uh, got this little display right here. That's what I like about it. And I imagine, I didn't test it, I guess if you push this. Yeah, see the lights cut on now? My little green light turned on, the tuning tube, and I've got 87.5. No music, of course, wait a minute, band. I have no idea. Home, I guess that's the home button. Oh, cool. Radio, card, phone, and digital radio. I don't know, I haven't even read the instructions yet, so I'll figure it out. Anyway, let me hook up the, the speakers now. So, here we have my, uh, my stereo. I just pushed that back in there. Uh, it's cleaned up, it looks good lights cut on here that's what it actually looks like and for example now if you want to play something off of your stereo here you can just push that and it plays through here so I got everything in the back cleaned up but it's got a really really good sound to it and of course I'll put this back the cover back on we'll put back down back here or if you want to listen to the news national public radio Your it actually shows up right here so of course you'll listen i guess the news will come on now live from npr news yep, i'm sure barbara fine 
West Virginia now, if you go down Senator here, Joe Manchin says he will not vote for Come back to the Biden's main part, and for example, if I want to listen to uh, the U disc, that's that little bitty memory stick. I put like 777 songs on it. Uh, what's really cool too here, if you want to come back here and make a phone call, and I don't know, call my daughter. It actually rings through here, and you can push that button, and it'll establish a phone call right here. So that's kind of cool. And there's a microphone right here, so it's hands Bluetooth. I'll hang up right now so it doesn't dial her. But anyway, uh, it's basically done. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm only using three of the channels, so I've got the big speaker. That's my, my subwoofer, and the two mediums or tweeters on the side. Now, of course, you can come out with with a little small amplifier back here. Like I said, this one's got an amplifier on it, uh, but it's got the satellite and the solar for like I showed you earlier. But anyway, stoked. It's pretty well done. Uh, you can pick up these radios for cheap. You just got to spend about, uh, I don't know, I probably got about four or five hours invested in this, but it's fun. Uh, honey buddy, my wife's going to get this one for uh, Christmas 2021. So... Take care. Bye-bye. Roger from Roger's Garage. And that's basically it. Take care. Bye-bye.